Okay, here we go. This is Garrett. Hey, um, for all of you new subscribers, I want you to know that my videos are short on purpose. God, his son Jesus, yes, there's two of them, and myself, we're making the videos short on purpose because God loves you and because we want to bless you. We don't want you sitting there for 45 minutes listening to our video to find out a simple thing that we could tell you in 30 seconds. We're not about wasting your time, and we're not going to. So our videos are short on purpose. Okay, here we go. Let me ask you a question. Is there such a thing as a good Christian? Because there are Christians all over the world who think that there is a good Christian, that there is a good person. And I was watching a video from, from a very famous Christian man. He's so famous, I won't even mention his name. And he was talking to another man, another Christian, who had been abducted by these so-called little gray aliens. And the famous Christian, the one whom I won't mention his name, he said, I can't understand why you were abducted. You're not watching pornography. You're not, you're not cheating on your wife. You're walking the walk. You're a good Christian. You don't deserve to be abducted. So let me ask a question. Is there such a thing as a good Christian? The answer is simple. The answer is no. And let me tell you why. Because God's definition of good is so high, so tall, so wide, that it surpasses the size of the universe. God's measurement of good is taller than our universe. It's wider from east to west than our universe is. It is deeper than any ocean, than any mountain cavern. God's definition of good is impossible to achieve. You couldn't do it if God gave you a million years. So what is good? Jesus. So if God's measurements for good are that high, that tall, that wide, and that deep, who is good? Jesus. Has there ever been anybody in the history of mankind who could measure up to these standards? Yes. In the English language, his name is Jesus, although he has hundreds and hundreds of different names. Only Jesus is good. Nobody else. Not Abraham. Not Enoch. Not Moses. Not Elijah. Not Daniel. Surely not Paul. Paul, the chief of all sinners. No, not Paul. And definitely not me, where I battle all kinds of addictions and terrible things my entire life, from the second I was born all the way to tonight. Nobody is good except God's incredible son who left heaven to be born as a baby. Only Jesus is good, not anybody else, not ever. Amen to that.